Hello everybody. Um, here's some video I was so excited to make. Um, uh, on my last uh, astrology report, uh, I went to the comment, and uh, I found a very interesting person make a very good comment uh, about me, and I thought I'm gonna be replying with video. So. Uh, the comments coming from uh, Sincere Love, one, and I think so it says one or it's a day ago or um, that's how it's print. And the comments are, Dio, with all due respect, I think you've been hypocritical when telling people just let it go. You're a twin flame who is not with your twin. However, you are constantly making Twin Flame videos, using your real name, and even traveling to the birthplace of your twin. Why don't you just let her go? Please, don't say you are doing all this to help the Twin Flame community either. If that was the honest truth, quote Marks, you could do your work in incognito, quoting Marks and still get message to others. Just be honest. You're chasing like the rest of us. I value your work. We as a twins are doing our best to maintain balance through this process. With that being said, please do not preach that which are not willing to practice. Time to be authentic and real. If you're not with us, at least with yourself. There was a second comment. Uh, the mere fact that we are watching all those Twin Flame videos is chasing. We are exchanging energy without getting any Twin Flame energy in return. In other words, chasing. Happy, sad, do not make us better. Uh, energy has no moral value. I'm not against chasing. I'm against pretending and not being real of what we are doing. How are you going to be your authentic self if you cannot even be real with yourself? Trust me, I have tried to delete all Twin Flame stuff. It came right back. Most of us probably have it. It is what it is. So, dear sincere love, um, uh, thank you for the respect, as you say. Uh, I think you've been hypocritical when uh, telling people to just let it go. Um, let it go, uh, just to you, darling. Um, this got so many layers of uh, let go. Um, probably you were watching some of my video about the let go, and uh, something. Uh, triggers you to make all this part and what uh, why do I telling the people to just let it go and what that's me to let it go um, first of all let it go he has a lot of layers people hold on to a lot of things okay people hold on to the past uh, people hold on to the past events people hold on to an anger People hold on to love that was. People hold on to material things. People hold on to people, to persons, which prevents them to move. People hold on to um, old beliefs. Uh, people hold on to old relationship. And uh, me being hypocritical of let go, is the people who comes in all the time to me, which is I answer their messages uh, on a Facebook and I serve to the Twin Flame community uh, without being paid for it. Uh, for you to know, it's uh, about that I keep telling the people of what they refuse to see about the let go. And let go, it's part of uh, spirituality. Okay? Let go, it's not just uh, something uh, I made it. I walked through it, 
uh, was a lot of people they walk through it and it's related to another two things their trust and surrender and uh, I made a lot of videos about uh, about this I have uh, something to show you uh, just so you know it's a little quote about it the path is not straight uh, the path is a spiral and I will read it for you the path is not a straight line it's a spiral you continuously come back to the things you thought you understood and see deeper truths now when you think that you let it go of your twin you let it go of the current position in the part that it is and as you evolve I will show you later on as your DNA you're gonna be facing the same thing but on a different level a different level of spirituality and as you evolve so it's the DNA inside of you of those understandings okay uh, the part of let it go uh, so you will change and you have to face the same thing but with a deeper truth inside of you of what you need to let it go okay so now um, I'm gonna answer uh, the rest of the article for you you are a twin flame who is not with your twin flame however you constantly making twin flame videos using your real name and even traveling to the birthplace of your twin yes you got that right I'm a twin flame without my twin flame uh, but if you know the whole story I will not uh, make it comment that I'm not with my twin flame simply because if you know the story uh, I won't go back into it simply the story with the twin flame it's attached to a lot of people okay it is attached to a pregnant woman it is uh, attached to uh, a supervisor on the floor who lied to me uh, it is attached to her best friend who was all the time with her so she cannot talk to me it is about the person who all the time staring at me or at her so we cannot talk and there was a, another person who was so much involved from management the thing that they can control twin flames and also my twin flame never had the balls to come in and express her feelings even though everybody knew she has it so far from all those people from all that situation there was only one person who stepped out and said the truth there was a sticky note that says I don't want it to admit but I love you he told me that was a joke and uh, that person tried to make jokes anytime I wanted he was trying to make jokes uh, something happened and he finally understand that he has to be become his truth I spoke to that person he's like yes deal she love you now with that being said as you said um, I let it go all that situation out simply because all those people that I just mentioned to you they are Latinos okay I have no real contact with her I let go of that uh, uh, all that situation uh, most of the people that were a uh, bit the crap out of it of all the people that were there simply because uh, the final fact was that pregnant woman was suffering okay so uh, that is the whole story and uh, I let it go of all those people simply because that's what I was supposed to do and that is a part of let go after all this pain and everything is that this is how you learn to let go and that is all about uh, this using your real name uh, my real name is Dobrin by the way uh, that was my given name by my parents uh, when I was uh, 12 years old which is that was like uh, 32 years ago uh, I was in a radio hamming club and uh, we had to use very short names and there was a guy his name was uh, Vicho 
uh, that's Bulgarian name by the way, and uh, his name uh, on the radio hamming was Dio. Since my name was Dobrin, my name become Dio. Ever since then I've been wearing this nickname. My kids have uh, these names on it and my real official name uh, for you, just so you know, it's really Dio. So, without being said, um, in evil traveling to the birthplace of your twin. Uh, by the way, I've never been there. So, uh, will I be there? I don't know. Probably I will be. 10. Why don't you just let her go? You know, I let her go. And let me tell you how I let her go. Okay. Um, I have nothing to do with her. I cannot reach her. But uh, the universe and God can. And... Uh, there is no power inside of me that I can find her. I don't have to find her. I don't chase her. The universe chase her. And that is the part that uh, you need to understand that uh, at some point uh, as a twin flame, um, you need to really let it go. Because if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And when you let it go, you allow the universe to work within your twin. Simply so the universe uh, can tell them about you. And the resistance there, it's inside of her about me. I cannot break it. But uh, the universe and the divine can. And all those people that tell her the bullshit about me that I'm Bulgarian and uh, different religion and I'm older and everything else I don't want to touch those people I let it go that whole situation is up to the universe it's not up to me um, please don't say you're doing all this to help the Twin Flame community either darling I spend my own time I'm dealing with uh, Twin Flame drama and I'm helping a lot of people and uh, if that bothers you I would suggest that you have to take a look inside of you why that bothers you what is that triggers you inside uh, what is that all about um, that's gotta be something that triggers within your ego uh, why I do what I do I'm doing the mission that I have to do and I don't need nobody else's approval by the way uh, because this is what I do and I help a lot of people and I'm proud of myself of what I become and I'm proud of what I did um, if that's the honest truth you could do your work in incognito and still get your message to others. Darling, the real twin flames don't hide. They cannot work in incognito. The real twin flames, the real love does not uh, like uh, lies or hides. And uh, if you cannot come out out in the public in the front of camera, I really dare you. If you know so much about Twin Flames, if you are so understanding about Twin Flames, I dare you to go ahead, open up your own channel. I dare you to go ahead and publicly start serving the Twin Flames. I dare you to hear 10 to 12 people a day and uh, see how that works for you. Before you say something like that, because I do serve the Twin Flame community and people who knows me personally and what I do and how much money and time I spent uh, to serve the community they know and I will appreciate your comment uh, and now you know the honest truth about this um, just be honest you're chasing uh, just like rest of us 
just because you chase that doesn't mean that I chase only I know if I chase or not and chasing by the way it's also have so many layers and I will appreciate uh, that I value your work we are twins okay you said we as twins okay here's the part uh, so if you're twin flame and if you really understand the proper part of yourself as a twin flame twin flame actually goes out and help other people to help uh, other twin flames if you are someplace hiding uh, you actually don't help uh, nobody you are what I called and I actually help a few people in the Chicago event uh, you're called secret agent you know the things and you don't help nobody well you can know everything about 5d but if you don't have any actions if you don't have any words saying if you don't have nothing out there that you help even a single person guess what there is no actions in the 3d so your 5d doesn't mean nothing that you know it accept your personal satisfaction and if you don't take actions of what you know and about the 5d um, then basically knowledge it's meaningful doesn't mean anything um, what has been said please do not preach of what you're not willing to practice darling I've been practicing all this let me tell you something I came in on this country, I mean in the United States, knowing three words. Yes, knowing the F word. Okay? And um, when I got awake and I become to write, I had a lot of language problems. I had a lot of fears inside of me. I become to write posts about Twin Flames. I become knowing things before they happened. I got uh, much more empowered to understand different kinds of astrology that I already knew inside of me, but I wasn't that much awakened uh, for it. So uh, I had to overcome the language problem. I had to overcome the fears of public speaking. I had to overcome to be authentic in front of people and most of it uh, when you're that much open the way I am you also become vulnerable and you have to be able to take the hits uh, from other people that uh, they don't uh, really look at it deep inside of them and what's going on I have no idea what your story and what do you mean about authentic I've been sharing here of my life of what's going on I've been sharing with who that I'm in a connection and what's going on with it but uh, the part of time to be authentic and real if you're not with us at least with yourself I am and uh, I don't know if you know me that much well but apparently you're not because uh, even with my last uh, soul connection that she's out in Europe she's married and she has a kid I talked to her and I talk about uh, what's going on with me I'm authentic and authentic means that you have to face yourself in the mirror and what it's mean facing yourself in the mirror it's like if you don't like your body for example go ahead take your clothes look at yourself in the mirror find out what you don't like out of your body and work it out if not God universe made you perfect your body go look at your body and love it if you don't uh, like the way you are as they love uh, Go make yourself so pretty. Go look at yourself in a mirror how pretty you are. 
would you love the person you see in the mirror? And that's me you to be authentic to yourself. Another authentic self, because it's a lot of layers of authentic self, it is look at yourself in the mirror in your eyes. What do you see? Do you see soul on fire? Or you see someone who is afraid to come out in the public and does what his destiny is for? Because darling, if you are really twin, twin flame, okay, you will commit out in the public that you're twin flame and you can go out and help the twin flames. Because uh, as a Madonna said, okay, it's so easy to talk, but only if you can do the walk. So, um, here's the part uh, of uh, the second part of this, is the mere fact that we are watching all these videos twin is chasing. Uh, we are exchanging energy without getting any twin flame energy in return. In other words, chasing energy. Let me tell you something about energy. I was just uh, gonna show you another part. It's that when you evolve, okay, you have to go around and around and around and up in order to become connection with your higher self. And uh, there's gonna be some layers and upon layers and a spiral over spiral and up and up and up until the enlightenment inside of you is gonna match the vibrations you're destined for it. So uh, what you actually chasing, you chasing to become your true self. And because of that is a connection with somebody else you need to understand in order you to become your connection with your twin, you have to become the twin yourself first. You have to unite four things inside of you. That is a, a physical masculine, physical feminine energy inside of you that a lot of the people reject one or the other. And then you have a divine masculine, divine feminine inside of you which is the people also reject one or the other. And then you, be, you maintain that balance inside uh, of those energies. Zavet. And simply, when it's, you maintain and balance that part, then you become a something completely different. You unite yourself. And when you unite yourself, then you're ready to be in union with somebody else. You can unite with your twin flame if you don't understand what that is mean to be. Simply because twin flame it's not a relationship at all. It is a partnership. And that is the part that I'm trying to teach people. Okay? So. Uh, Happy, sad, do not matter because energy has no moral value. Moral is in quotation mark. Um, about moral, okay? Your moral, it's actually it's increasing with your spirituality of understanding. And that is a part of uh, the DNA. The more you become to understand, the more you rewrite inside of yourself the DNA as you process of evolving. And uh, the more that spiral, again, it's going up and up, that is your moral value of the energy. Simply because you learn to work with that energy since you already have the vibrations inside of the soul. And that is the part that when you uh, go ahead and see all those numbers or you see a specific synchronities on it, or if you have the vibrations and so and you have connection with your twin like they're right here in the front of your face then you will understand that part i'm trying to explain it uh, to you but here's a little picture for it and that's what the dna is 
simply when you start an understanding and you make the connections, that part lights up inside of the DNA and it creates the next and the next and the next and it moves up and up and up. And this is how the, the evolution is created. Um, how are you going to be your authentic self if you cannot be real with yourself? Trust me, I have tried it. I delete to all the Twin Flame stuff and came right back. Okay. So, what does that mean, Rio? Um, Rio means to accept yourself as who you are and begin living your real life as who you are. I accept my life uh, as a Twin Flame. At my new job, everybody knows I have a YouTube channel, I didn't hide. At my old job, uh, they, everybody knew that I have a YouTube channel and I do astrology. And that is the real me. I don't hide. Okay? Uh, I don't uh, delete any of the stuff uh, regarding the Twin Flames. Uh, that would be a dishonesty to myself. So, uh, with that uh, part, why did you delete all the Twin Flames and stuff, and why you remove all the Twin Flame stuff? It's simply is because you have a resistance of like go. And um, you think that if you let it go, uh, the stuff, uh, you will fix it and everything, but they come back. They came back and they're always going to be come back to you, darling, because you have to evolve of understanding the same things over and over, but a different, higher level of existence. And that's why they keep coming back and coming back and coming back. And that's why a lot of the twin flames that I talk to, I teach them how to let go of the old. I teach them how to let it go of the stuff that they hold on to it simply so they can evolve out of this part and they can move out a lot of the twin flames which is uh, they work with me uh, they understand that part they understand the vibrations of that part and a lot of the twin flames are thankful for uh, what I do and for my the devotions of the twin flames and if you try to tell me that I have to be going incognito that's mean and I don't surf I cannot be real for me I cannot be go incognito simply the real love cannot be behind incognitos in a shells of the ego and if you're advising a people to have an incognito you're trying to put them back into the shell of the ego and to cover it up and that is the part of a lot of people have a hard time of let go to say what you need to say to be who you are to be and to be authentic as far as my twin she has uh, explanations to all the people who ask her what's going on and that is her problem she has to deal with her relationship about the universe and that's why I let her go to the universe she has to give the explanations to everybody that she lies she had to give uh, explanations to to herself she needs to give explanations to the universe I don't have nothing to do in that part that is the relationship was explaining the Christianity it's personal relationship with God and uh, if she's resisting uh, to be with me then she needs to look at it herself uh, because uh, the resistance inside of us it's also a huge problem of uh, being authentic being real and Twin Flames is coming in you to become a real simply because somebody does not want to be real that doesn't mean that uh, I 
have to be no real person okay so um i really love uh, this uh, this part simply because uh, a lot of people need to hear this a lot of people need to understand this a lot of people have to evolve in the next layer which is they're stuck and that uh, if i am you i will look at it what part of that trigger of let go was deep inside of you that you don't want to let it go what part of you going up or you've been tired of going up and learning more and more stuff uh, you getting stuck into it thank you so much um sincere love i appreciate everything that you do and thank you so much for your comments i hope this video will help a lot of people simply so they can be able to get unstuck to get and move be love